on this wonderful afternoon wherein professor vijay vijay ji has uh, taken his time of his busy schedule to join us and enlighten us in this wonderful day uh, we begin with the world peace prayer i request you all to please join your hands for the world peace prayer Thank you very much, sir. I now request our principal, sir, and the chief guest to please light the auspicious lamp. In our country, any auspicious event begins with the lighting of the sacred lamp.
I also request all the teachers to please join in the lamp lighting ceremony. Thank you, sir. And we also offer a prayer to the goddess of learning, Ma Saraswati, and pray to her that she blesses all with infinite knowledge and wisdom. Thank you, sir. I would now request our respected principal, Sri Surendra Herkalji, to give his welcome speech. So voice is not equal. So there is no voice. Uh, just a minute, sir. Uh, Sanjay, sir, principal, sir's voice is not audible, sir. Sanjay, sir. Good evening, all of you. Yes, audible now. Yes, audible. Yeah. Thank you. Respected Chief Guest, Professor Dr. Vijay Khare, sir, all delegates, and my dear student teacher, a very good evening. I heartily welcome our today's Chief Guest, Professor Dr. Vijay Khare, sir, Director, International Studies Center, and Senior Professor, Defense and Strategic Studies, Savitribai Pule Pune University, Pune. I welcome all the student teacher of FY Beard and SY Beard who join in this beautiful program. I welcome all the participants and all the student teachers in this first year Beard inaugural program. I am very proud to tell you that in the very first round of Beard admission, 98 students have taken admission at our college. We, the MIT Santan Anishwar Beard College, is the first college in Saitra Pule University who has started the college today after the first round. I would like to congratulate my whole team because of which we have created the teachers who have will be the best teacher in this 21st century. I would like to tell the special feature of this program that this is year we have got most talented students who have offered our college as their first choice for beard. I'm very lucky to have such students as well as I'm very lucky to have eminent and qualified staff. I'm very glad to tell you that we are also a proud, proud of Aurora, headed by Professor Dr. Vijay Khare, sir. We are implementing the project under Beard 212 open course 
combating radicalism so do not miss this golden opportunity i wish a very bright future to all of you thank you so much stay at home stay safe thank you thank you all of you thank you very much sir for your warm welcome speech i would now request you to please felicitate our chief guest <laughs> virtual it's <a> virtual <laughs> thank you <Yes. laughs> thank, thank you so much sir thank, thank you. you so much i would take this opportunity to request our prestigious teachers to kindly introduce themselves teachers sanjay sir dear all my student good evening i am dr surendra herkal principal mais mit sant naneshwar bed college welcome all of you thank you thank you sir Dignitaries on the dais of the dais, my dear students. Very good evening, everyone. Uh, myself, Assistant Professor Katiba Tapade Raisoni. I'm working with MIT since 2011. My qualification is MSc, MEd, Net in Education, and I'm pursuing PhD from Shiva University. I'll be awarded very soon. One more diploma I'm pursuing that is postgraduate diploma in uh, Counseling and Family Therapy. and this year i will be dealing with 103 that is learning and teaching science education quality and management of school education and biology uh, all the very best to everyone thank you thank you ma'am good evening one and all as we know uh, meantime uh, we have interacted during admission process but still uh, we are in formal program today uh, we are in inaugural function we are opening our college uh, myself uh, assistant professor anga javle my education qualification is ma med net and i am pursuing phd also Uh, my teaching subjects are for first year 101 childhood and growing up and i'll be dealing with geography method as time go will be more interactive uh, throughout uh, two years thank you thank you so much thank you angad sir Yes. Good evening, everyone. Am I audible to you all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Clear and Thank loud. Correct. You. Thank you, dear. Uh, I am Assistant Professor Gangotri Rokde. Uh, my educational qualification is MSc in Biochemistry, MEd, MPhil, and Net in Education. And I'll be teaching you one zero four. That is evaluation paper, and I'll be dealing with the method mathematics. Thank you so much, and welcome you all. Thank you so much, Rokde, ma'am. Uh, welcome and good evening to everyone uh, myself dr vikas subhash kup sundar uh, i am working in this institution from last 4 uh, year uh, my educational qualification that is ma in geography med mphil pgd me net and uh, phd in education i will connect with you with the help of beard first year course code that is 105 that is advanced pedagogy and application of ict and the teaching methods that is economics mythology once again welcome you and thank you very much thank you vikas sir good evening to all of you 
I am Dr. Shilpa Gawande. I am librarian of MIT Santa Gargarapa. Santa Dhaneshwar B8 College, R&D. My education is MLib, SET and PhD. Welcome to all. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening to all. I am Professor uh, Shekhar Akshir Sagar. My qualification is MA, MA, Z qualified. My total uh, teaching experience is eight years, and my teaching subject <coughs> subjects are uh, Marathi education, knowledge and curriculum, and language across curriculum. And I am in charge of internship program. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shekhar sir. Good evening, uh, one and all present on this online platform. Today is a very beautiful day because uh, we are here. We are going to start our first day in the presence of a great leader, a great person, Professor Vijay Khare, who has accepted our invitation. So once again, welcome Professor Vijay Khare, sir, in MIT St. Ganeshwar B8 College. I'm Assistant Professor Sanjay Shinde. I'm working with MIT from last four years. My educational qualification is I mean English, History, Sociology, MSc, NET, MPhil, PGDVS, DSM, and right now I'm pursuing PhD from Savitribai Philippon University. I'm teaching post 102 Contemporary Indian Education Society, Ginger, and uh, I'm teaching. I will teach you English methodology. So. All the best to all of you as you are starting your teaching career from a mighty St. Ganeshwar Beard College. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sanjay, sir. Good evening, all of you. Myself, uh, Assistant Professor Sandeep Gadilkar. I am working in MIT from 2008 to till date. And uh, my educational qualification is MA, MA. My uh, teaching subject to 05 ICT. And I am also see the admission process also. Thank you and all the best. Thank you, Sandeep, sir. Good evening, all of you. Uh, I am Pradhapak Santosh Limbaji Sangre. MA B.A. in Sanskrit subject, uh, B.A. MIT College Kothrud, and I'm working for here 12 years. My subject is uh, Sanskrit, MA B.A. in Sanskrit subject. Thank you, all of you. Good evening. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Santosh, sir. Namaskar. Namaskar, sir. I am a college of Pune. I am a Sagansha Mother Thank you. Thank you, sir. Namaste. Thank you. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Myself, Assistant Professor Darshana Bhavar. My education qualification is MA, MA, Net Set. Thank you so much. Thank you, Darshana, ma'am. As we come to the end of the introductions right now, we would uh, present a short video about our school, about our college, and uh, its wonderful premises. Sanjay. Ah. Can I can I interfere, Surinder? Hello, Madam. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, can you can you have it after my presentation, after my introductory lecture? Then you can show the film because I have to. I have one meeting. Sure, sir. Huh? Sure. Sir. This is okay. Sure, sir. Huh? Please. Yeah. I yes. Uh, I would request Ms. Tanvai Khartaukar to give a brief introduction about our chief guest. Tanvai, yes, over to you. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, everyone. 
at the outset outset i would uh, thank our principal for giving me this opportunity to introduce the personality who has great achievements to his credit a person who has set minds milestones at each and every venture that he has undertaken professor dr shri vijay khare ji who is a senior professor and head department of defense and strategic studies savitribai phule university pune he has awarded partial fellowship by the united nations university tokyo japan dr khare was selected for the united nations short course on hologrammatic terrorism united nations interregional crime and justice research institute university of rome italy he completed an executive leadership program and advanced mediation and peacemaking program at the university of london uk he has numerous awards to his credit a few of them being the prestigious fulbright fellowship at washington dc usa the erasmus fellowship by the european commission at masaryk university czech republic the social scientist award for the research work under the indo french social scientist exchange program at the foundation Mason de Science del Home Fra Paris France since September 2012 as the director of International Center Dr Khare provides excellent leadership to all international engagements for internal internal internalization of higher education Dr Khare ji has completed more than 12 international projects at present he is engaged in four international capacity building higher education proje projects with european union namely tuning india international collaborative project with seven european universities and 10 indian universities he also has some publications some of which are 21 books in english and marathi 15 chapters in edited books are to his credit 21 research papers in various reputed journals at international and national level He has undertaken 22 research projects, including 14 international collaborative projects and eight national projects. Dr. Khare has an outstanding contribution in organizing and participating in various seminars and conferences at the international and national level. In addition, he is one of the best public speakers and has delivered more than 200 public talks and participated in various TV shows as an international study analyst in regional and English language. Dr Khare ji holds a number of academic and administrative posts at present he holds the following distinguished positions as as he has 25 years and 8 months of rich teaching and research experience at Savitribai Phule University Pune Dr Khare ji is a member of the Commission on Social Sciences of the Indian National Commission for Cooperation Ministry of Human Resource Development Department of Higher Education since October 2015 He is also a life member of various professional organizational organizations in India. His areas of expertise are international relations, national security, non-traditional security, terrorism and counterterrorism, peace and conflict studies, human rights and inter internalization of higher education. I feel an honor to introduce you sir. Thank you so much for being here with us. and uh, yes a very 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 warm welcome to such an ama amazing personality thank you so much thank, thank you, you tanvay for this wonderful introduction a father once told his son asked his son uh, can you tell me the difference between a station master and a teacher the son was confused and to which the father replied will you see son a station master minds the trains and the teacher trains the minds i now request our honorable chief guest to train our minds so that we can train others minds professor khare ji it's up to you now thank you very much uh, for giving this opportunity to put my few words before a newly admitted student uh, my dear friend principal surendra Dr. Ji, Dr. Sanjay Shinde, uh, teaching and non-teaching staff of the MIT Mihir B.Ed College, and a uh, newly admitted student. It gives me great pleasure to interact, have an interaction with you in a very different aspect. You are too much lucky that you got a good college, which is affiliated to Savitribai Phule Pune University. Look at the India's population. 
is around 1 plus billion population. And for that, we have only around 900 plus universities. Out of that, uh, we have, uh, you, you are the student of the university, which has a ranking among 1000 universities. Uh, we are numbered top 10 university as per the ranking of National Institutional Ranking Framework, as well as look at the all other parameters. When you talked about the quality education, Savitri Bhai Phule University is playing important role to develop an ecosystem in all fields, including teacher training. You must be, feel very happy that you got this opportunity and you are admitted and you have landed in a good place. Unfortunately, due to COVID, uh, physical presence is not easy for us in a coming week, but time will come when you will visit physically the institution and the university, then you will feel proud that how you are lucky uh, to got admission in Savitri Bhai Phule University Affiliated College. Let me uh, tell you one thing that uh, why this university has given a ranking. What is the beauty of that? Uh, you all aware that 70% student we are admitting from three districts, that is Ahmednagar, Nasi, and uh, Pune and 30% students come from out of state and uh, out of Maharashtra. However, having a such a different diverse population, including first learner generation, uh, Pune University is playing important role at national as well as international level. When you talked about teacher training issue or particularly uh, to, what is the role of uh, 21st century teacher? What, what is the paradigm shift in a teacher training? Uh, earlier, teacher cons consider is one of the guidance force to the community, but now a teacher become a facilitator. Uh, now, a new education policy is coming, and in a new education policy, there is a paradigm shift. In fact, in a COVID, before COVID-19, there was a misconception that hardly we could use online uh, gadgets and online teaching, training, and other capacity building process when we, uh, before COVID, we hardly use it. But COVID taught us that how online education is changing the mindset. So in that context, what I give a suggestion, particularly new generation, those who are becoming a, a teacher in the 21st century. Now, uh, the role of the teacher would be completely different. Look at the global uh, paradigm shift in a, a economic, social, cultural, and other issues. You will surprise that what kind of issues are emerging. Uh, take example of what Samuel Huntington is talking about. He is saying that there is a class of civilization. Then the sum of uh, other people say there's an end of history, end of geography. Then 21st century would be an Asian century where India and China it may play important role. And then technology revolution is changing the mindset. Uh, we, from last seven plus decades, if you see that Indian development, you will surprise that one hand there are your neighboring countries, particularly China and uh, uh, Pakistan. We had four war with both of them. Uh, that is a 47, 48 war, 65 war, 1971 war, and uh, 1990 Kar 19 Kargil conflict. In all uh, war with neighboring countries taught us that how defense and development is a one side of uh, two side of uh, one coin, and then country progress slowly, slowly. In the education sector, somehow we could find the difficulties, particularly our investment on education is very minimal. Look at the uh, Scandinavian countries where education to, to become a teacher means the uh, in a Scandinavian country, if you have a, a force to, to become a teacher, that would be the highest paid salary for the teacher and the highest respect uh, in a Scandinavian countries. But in Indian scenario, uh, the role of teacher would be completely different. Uh, 
due to the different reason i'm not uh, uh, i don't want to share that that kind of uh, issues but uh, role of teacher in india is changing very fast means when we were student that time the concept of teacher is different and now those student is admitting uh, in our class they feel that what is the role of the role and response of the teacher now when we talked about uh, in 21st century this 21st century taught us two things one the technology revolution a uh, technology revolution changing the mindset by every second every minutes every hour every day and every year i mean i said before covid it was very difficult for anyone to introduce the online education but now uh, online education changing a mindset of the uh, student and the teacher also and that mindset would be a, di a different difficulties as well as opportunity uh, take example of uh, uh, for my lecture if i'm giving a 45 minutes lecture as per the psychological study as conducted by harvard university they said that any human mind uh, is not more than focused 9 minutes or uh, and not more than focus on 9 minutes hardly 9 to 10 minutes they can uh, engage with the screens and later on their mind diverted at different places so Uh, online education is giving a benefit as well as the uh, giving the challenges to all community particularly when you talked about the our present scenario now when uh, this kind of thing is happening uh, uh, particular savitri bai phule university has developed a different lms we have a uh, leading collab uh, universities uh, where we have very good collaboration joint collaboration with the european countries as well as the western country i am very happy that i am heading this department uh, that is a international center which role is to uh, promote internationalization strategy for the university as well as to develop a strategic partnership with leading university and exchange a uh, student faculty and the staff in a different project fortunately uh, we had a project that is aurora project and in in that aurora project the three beard colleges uh, others beard college alana uh, beard college and your institute is conducting a two credit different uh, course that is a radicalization uh, this course would be a one kind of opportunity where you will get a, a good training uh, on the syllabus framed by european experts i when uh, offline course offline teaching will start you will have opportunity to interact with the european experts as well as will invite european experts on your campus and you can uh, interact with them unfortunately due to the covid we could not able to invite a uh, number of experts who was in, who are involved in uh, our aurora project but time will come you will get opportunity apart from that what what my message is that what is the responsibility this responsibility of the teacher uh, you know you aware that uh, when uh, chief architect of indian constitution dr baba sambedkar gave a lecture in pune city he gave he gave a three kind of test who should be a good teacher and who should be a good person and he defined the three conditions whom we should call it a good teacher the first condition he said that any person who has the good education background can we call him as a good teacher he said no uh, the person who possesses the good qualification it doesn't mean he is the good teacher then he added second uh, condition uh, if a person is having a good education as well as the morality can we call as a good uh, teacher or a good person then again ambedkar argued that uh, Uh, having a good education and morality it doesn't mean you become good teacher as well as a good per, uh, person then third condition he let down uh, that the person who is the great then he he said that the person who is the great the person who use his knowledge his expertise his commitment for the society and the for his knowledge and uh, his commitment is repaying to the society that is the uh, that person can become a good person or good teacher 
So what I'm saying here, my dear student, if you, if you want to become a good teacher, you, you just not focus to get a degree. You just not focused on only get knowledge. You should become a good person or good teacher through giving a, a so give the back to the society that whatever you work you do, you should give a hundred percent commitment and give back to the society. That is the good sign of the good teacher. In 21st century, we would face the number of difficulties. I said that there are there will be a opportunities. There will be a, uh, challenges. Let me tell you that in a Germany, look at the German uh, population is hardly six plus crore population, but for six crore population, uh, German government public institution is or university is more than one thousand university. And whereas an Indian population is one, uh, 1 billion plus population. And for that, we have only one, not uh, 1000 in universities and state university has very minimum around 350, then private and state and then in a semi state university or the national import institution. And in that uh, include the all numbers, our gross enrollment ratio is not more than a 26 percent. Now, whom we should call as a gross enrollment ratio. The student, the student who uh, join at the age of uh, uh, 18 to 20, 16 to uh, 21, that could be considered as an enrollment in higher education. And from uh, that perspective, Western perspective, look at the US, Canada and other Western university, their enrollment in higher education is around 80 percent, 90 percent. But India's enrollment in higher education is only 26 percent. And new education policies is, uh, is coming in very soon. And this new education policy main target is the uh, in, uh, universalization of higher education or the massification of higher education. Purpose is that to each one should get education and not only each uh, education, but the quality education and the uh, with the quality excellence is very important. My dear student, uh, it is very difficult to uh, map Indian education because in education is in a concurrent list and there are different mechanisms. Central government and state government has its own stake and in between each state frame the different policies and uh, each, each state each state uh, give a different kind of uh, issues, particularly framing the new education policy. But new education policy focuses on language New education uh, policies focuses on the traditional uh, knowledge as well as the uh, scientific temperament among uh, student and particularly uh, in, in, increase the enrollment of gross enrollment ratio. Uh, there are two kind of issues here. One must understand that uh, our enrollment, if you want to increase the enrollment, we need to good colleges, increase the good number of colleges, good number of institution where students get a quality education. Then second important issue, particularly how it can be possible because our uh, expenditure on higher education was very, very minimal. Means uh, even from uh, independence to still date, our expenditure on higher education is very minimal. Even in our education, uh, primary education is minimal. And most of the institutions are coming in a private sector. So the private sector also playing important role, but we need to increase the enrollment and this uh, responsibility is coming to the future teacher that how they could play important role to increase the enrollment. Unless education, uh, the person could not get education, he could not stand in a society. Education is the only source or education is the only keys to open the all doors and for that point of view, edu education is important. But unfortunately, uh, our education system has such a uh, implement uh, means has, have a such type of structure where there is a compartment. I mean, the primary education is different, school education is different, and higher education is different. And those are the teacher who are taking care of primary. They don't have linkage with the uh, secondary education. Those are teacher. They don't have a, a linkage with the higher education. So that this in this ladder there is a gap. And that's why we need to change this mindset, whether you are the teacher in higher education or school education or second education, your responsibilities would be a different. You are creating a belt for the nation building and 
while while creating a wealth for the nation building what is your responsibility responsibility is your commitment responsibility is your dedication responsibility is your hard work hard work dedication and commitment is very important to become a good teacher only just the sake of degree if you enroll your admission in a college like um, mit mir where the student where faculty 24 by 7 they are they are giving 100% commitment to the institution but the student they are not committed 100% then there will be a gap and that gap could not fill by any other uh, uh, institution because everywhere uh, the teacher role is very important but the new technology is changing the role of the teacher now teacher is not only teacher but now uh it is a facilitated and this facilitated concept would be changed and this technology uh, revolution is really challenge for us let me tell you one thing that uh, in future probably uh, there is a online universities coming up and in a online university you can have a good kind of exposure having a uh, collaboration with harvard and oxford and a good uh, institution and you can get uh, listen to them but unless and until you interact with the teacher directly you will not get that kind of impact uh, in a fair online education but the this kind of things is going to change and we would be uh, ready for to accept whether we like it or you don't like it but we need to accept that things and that's why in 21st century i'll, I'll tell you that uh, people talks about uh, asian century or india china century look at geopolitics uh, you must heard about geopolitics and uh, other changing dimension uh, take example of western world uh, particularly in a covid pandemic period the kind of uh, technology us is possessing but look at their healthcare system is completely collapsed look at the western uh, european world where they claim that they are the real superpower in terms of economic capability as well as military capability but uh, the covid 19 uh, shown us that uh, healthcare system is very important but what what is important here in indian uh, healthcare system the front line uh, play important front line play play important role to uh, in a pandemic and uh, the kind of culture we have to share our resources to each other and that has given a message to the world community that even in a healthcare system india's uh, system is very good public particularly in a public healthcare system what i would like to summarize uh, there are positive sign there are negative sign uh, positive is that uh, through the population we can if we increase our uh, enrollment in higher education particularly teacher training and uh, uh, the sector then we could produce a good teacher and then we change the mindset of the people but uh, for that we need to good investment on higher education and this investment will come only when we can produce a good teacher because look at the world history wherever we will uh, uh, you find the world history in that uh, world history we can get a one lesson that uh, uh, without the knowledge or without the uh, creation of ideological uh, perception understanding of any revolution that has not happened and that is the only uh, uh, one important aspect done by the teacher and what i am saying here uh, dear friends uh, particular those student who enroll uh, for this course Uh, it is your responsibility to get a uh, lesson from the teacher you must ask the question some extent uh, uh, in a indian education system hardly any chance to ask or raise a, a questions to the teacher but nowadays uh, this new generation is coming with a very good preparation and the student must ask question to the teacher and teacher must answer the all questions to the teach on uh, the student because question answer is very important pedagogy in a western world uh, i've been traveling uh, from last uh, several couple of years in uh, different countries and i have seen that uh, we have developed a social innovation lab and a theme club where uh, in a group of p student you can just give them space and give them topic and tell them that to discuss that issue and this think lab would uh, give the for example give a issue to them that energy crisis 
So let them think and come out with the solution and then think about how that their suge uh, suggestion would be convert in a, a, a one kind of a equipment or one kind of a idea and that idea can convert it into the innovation thing. And so that kind of new pedagogy is coming. Nowadays, innovation, incubation and in enterprise is very important. These are the some extent uh, you may say that, but these are the words are should not be only remain as a buzzword. What is important? Important to have it a curriculum uh, in a such to develop a curriculum in a such way that each student should have uh, develop a own kind of innovative ideas in a teacher training and that would be real asset for the institution. I hope that uh, each one will focus on innovation, uh, develop their own kind of uh, our ideas, and that idea should convert in a product. But uh, uh, let me tell you one thing: uh, uh, in a future uh, future war, uh, whether country like it or don't, you don't like it. But there is no possibility of any war with your neighbor countries. But technology will be everywhere. I take example of a cyber attack. And now while sitting at one place, uh, one attack would be change the mindset of the people and uh, the kind of uh, cyber issues coming up, particularly Pegasus software and uh, cyber attack on your uh, institution that would change the mindset. So what we uh, what is important that the student must aware about the technology revolution. Student must aware about the uh, traditional pedagogy in education. Student must aware about uh, new changing uh, scenario at the global level. And third important, students should be a, a work or act as an institution ambassador. After completing their BA degree, they should act as an ambassador, not for only the institution of MIT, MIT but the, they are the ambassador for the Savitri Bhai Phule University. They are the ambassador for Maharashtra and they are the ambassador for the India. And wherever they go, they should come back and uh, play an important role for the institution. So with this word, uh, I'll have it uh, uh, another lecture or when we will have it Aurora meeting. That time we'll uh, have a force to see you in, in person. I have another meeting at VC's officer, but uh, uh, I will not talk too much, but I'm really happy that in the first day uh, you have a good in interaction uh, with your teacher or teacher they have introduced themselves and they are well qualified teacher. Uh, very rare institution uh, has such kind of qualified teacher. You are lucky. Your uh, principal is well uh, updated. Uh, uh, Kind means very well uh, updated and very uh, humble person and the Professor Shinde. Oh, I am working with them in a one European project and both of them are working very well uh, for our project and this radicalization issue. Uh, look at the uh, radicalization. I, I will just give one minute and I'll stop here. Particularly uh, when from uh, birth of nation state to uh, till date, the concept of uh, security development is a very different. Now, uh, up to First World War, uh, people talked about the collective security system. Then after Second World War, people talked about the military alliances and military capability. And uh, after the uh, 90s, when Soviet Union collapsed and the 9-11, uh, US thought that uh, she, she had uh, weapons of mass destruction, that is a chemical weapon, biological nuclear weapon. And having a, such kind of weapon, uh, she thought that no one can dare to attack on their territory. And when non-state actor, 10 non-state actors attacked on Twin Tower, that is the World Trade Center and the Pentagon, then global community realized that having a military capability or economic capability it doesn't mean you can you are secure what perception has changed if a country is possessing good kind of weapons of mass destruction it doesn't mean they are secure what is important important is the overall development of the society and overall development of society only will happen when 
a good teacher, good uh, institution will work together for the overall development of the society. Not only just few of them should develop and the rest of the people should stay in the below the poverty line. And that mindset could be only changed by the our education system and uh, teacher. And teacher can play important role through the uh, education and that is a, our responsibility. So India would be have a bright future if we all work together for uh, develop, development of the institution as well as uh, in the process of nation building. So with this word, I thanks for organizing uh, my uh, introductory talk before you. Uh, due to the short time, I could not make it presentation, but uh, when next time definitely I will come in person and we will have a, another round of interaction where we could explore a number of issues. So thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, Professor Kareji. Thank you once again for taking your invaluable time and being with us today, sharing your insightful words, how we as teachers can cause radicalization, how we as teachers should change ourselves according to the changing scenario, how we as teachers should be an ambassador of education to the entire world. Thank you once again, sir, for your warm words and for your guidance. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, on the behalf of MIT team, we are very thankful for your presence. Thank you, sir. I take continue your leave, please. Huh? You continue your project. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Anita, ma'am, uh, you may proceed. Yes, yes. yes sir. Uh, we would now be showing a short video, right, sir? Yeah, yeah. No problem at all. Right now, we will do the same. You may announce. Yes, sir. Okay. So, first year students, a very warm welcome once again. And on behalf of the second year students, wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Um, we will now take you on a short ride through our esteemed college, Sanjayaneshwar B.S. College, R&D Devachi. Sanjay sir, sir will be talking, sharing the video, wherein you will see the beautiful premises. I don't know how much if you all have visited the college personally, physically, met all the wonderful teachers. And I would say these teachers are available in and out to guide you, to support you, to help you. But we as future teachers should also follow the principle of punctuality and discipline. And this video, please.
Thank you so much, Sanjay sir, for sharing this wonderful video. And I must say, as I have already visited the college a couple of times, that this is a one-of-a-kind college that I have seen in the Pimpichinsford area. A very well-maintained staff and premises. And I request Ms. Prajita Bhor to please share her experience right from CS till death. Okay, so Prajakta, over to you. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Prajakta, and I'm a second year student of MIT Sant Naneshwar B. Ed. College. Uh, well, my journey and experience with our college has been really, really. Yes. Am I audible? Yeah, you're audible. OK, thank you. So my journey and experience with the college has been really, really wonderful. Uh, right from filling the forms for the cap round, be it the, or be it the admission decisions. I think my voice is in the hall. It's echoing there. OK. So uh, right from filling the forms for the cap round or the admission procedures, it has been a very smooth process thanks to the admin staff. Also, I would like to mention about our professors who have been really, really helpful right from choosing the correct methods or uh, be it choosing the right study material, guiding us in the respective subject areas and addressing our queries related to our studies. Though due to COVID, we had to shift online. They made the online teaching and learning journey smooth by providing us platforms like Microsoft Teams and Edmodo. Uh, I enjoyed the sessions a lot and I learned a lot, be it the subject areas or the life values. Also, a special thank to our principal, sir, who has always encouraged us to do our best. And also my mentor, Darshana, ma'am, for building a confidence in us and giving us honest feedbacks during a micro teaching practice lessons. I actually used to have a lot of stage fear, but I can see a lot of improvement in me thanks to my mentor and of course Sanjay Shinde sir for always encouraging and motivating me to participate in the extracurricular activities and the seminars. Uh, it has helped me a lot to brush up my skills. Also, I love the fact that they use blended learning. Uh, though we have had very little opportunities to attend the physical college, but whenever I had the opportunity, I loved the blend of traditional teaching and technology. My favorite place in our beautiful college will always be the library, uh, loaded with quality books and spacious classrooms, uh, sorry, spacious sitting area. Uh, it always feels very peaceful and calm whenever I visit the college. Uh, I really like the way that they have sent uh, us the learning resources online, especially during these difficult times of COVID. And this is really this is going to really help me in my studies. Um, also, I like the culture which my mentor Darshana ma'am has built in our group regarding, uh, you know, that we all uh, are one family and we have to help our peers and we have to work together. Uh, I got to learn a lot uh, from my professors. Thank you so much for guiding me and also got to interact a lot with my classmates and grow as a teacher and a good person. I hope you two all have a wonderful journey like I am having. Thank you so much. Wonderful words, Prajakta. Thank you so much. And I do agree with Prajakta where she says that we are one family. A special thanks to our principal, respected Surendra Herkalji. Uh, personally, I would say, for giving me this opportunity to join the B.Ed. course. The best word, words that he said when I was skeptical about taking my admission was, age is not a factor for learning. Age is not a factor for gaining knowledge. So these words motivated me. And I cannot forget the wonderful help given by Sandeep sir for taking us through the entire admission process. He made it very easy and always uh, attending the calls, be it regarding admission, regarding counseling, anything each and every teaching staff as well as non-teaching staff has always been helpful in this college. A big thanks to all the teaching and non-teaching staff and a big thanks to our wonderful principal, Surendra Herkalji. 
Uh, at this juncture, I would request Ms. Smita Dengre to please present the vote of thanks. Yes, ma'am. On behalf of MIT St. Nanishwar Beard College, I'm glad to take the opportunity to give the vote of thanks today. Firstly, I would like to explain. Sorry. My voice is audible, Anita ma'am. Audible, audible, loud and clear. Okay. Yes. So firstly, I would like to express my gratitude to our chief guest, Professor Dr. Vijay Khare sir, for gracing this event not only by his presence, but also by mean of his thoughts. The message conveyed by you is very motivating and full of good learnings. We would definitely like to take your suggestions in practice in our work. We are very thankful to our principal sir, Surendra Herkel sir, for providing us this golden opportunity to learn more through such programs. As well as, I would like to sincerely thanks Assistant Professor Sanjay Shinde sir and all my respective teachers for always actively organizing such events for us. Last, but not the least, I would like to thank all my fellow student teachers for helping to make the event successful by being patient throughout the session. Thank you so much all of you. Over to you, Anita Ma. Thank you, Smita. Thank you for proposing the vote of thanks. Uh, Sanjay sir, a few words from you now. Sanjay sir. Yeah, Anita ma'am. Mm. Yes, sir. We will take last. Sorry? Sorry. Uh, can we aim with Poseidon? Yes. Yeah, please announce so that everybody uh, will fold their hands. Yes. Yeah, uh, I request each and every participant to please fold your hands for the Poseidon. सेव है कर करवाओ Anita, ma'am, there are some issues from my side. Uh, could I? It's okay, no problem. I, yeah. You want me to? Uh, okay. So, principal sir is saying that he will speak. Uh, 
Hmm? We will say the pasaida. Okay. So okay. everybody will uh, hold their hands. So we'll. Yes, Thank you all uh, for your participation in this program. So uh, we are going to stop here. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the program is over, and soon you will get the timetable for uh, from I think uh, in the coming two or three days, and we are going to start our five. Normal lecture. Yeah. And. Thank you, sir. So you may leave the meeting. Hmm? No problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.